Hello and welcome back to the road to KSP2. We're starting off with the KSS Carthage and it's going to mostly be this, uh, this ship today. And it's also going to be a short episode because yes, just like the title says, we are getting ready for the finale. The next video will be the finale. And, um, I'm sorry this didn't come out on Saturday. Um, two problems happened. One, I had laryngitis, so I couldn't talk at all. And then when I could talk, um, starting around Saturday, uh, I couldn't, um, well, post the video because I had no internet. <laughs> You're actually getting this video as it was uploaded from my phone because that's how I'm going to have to upload this video. Um, my computer can only do a walled connection. I don't have Wi-Fi or Ethernet at my apartment right now. Um, I've talked to the landlord, but, uh, apparently they do some, uh, they do it through some other company and they're apparently refusing to come out. And I've also talked to the other company and they're like, oh yeah, we're not coming out for another week and a half. Why? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, all I gotta say is I am really annoyed. And, uh, the, you know, the reason why my neighbor's my neighbors unplugged the modem and smashed it while they were blackout drunk the other day. Yeah. Um, so me and my neighbors, we, it's like a duplex and we share a modem. Um, and we, yeah, they got blackout drunk and smashed it. Um, I have a whole bunch of, uh, frat guys and I don't know if it was specifically the, the, fl the frat guys who did it. But, uh, apparently someone got drunk and absolutely demolished the, the modem. And, uh, we can't get another one for a while. Um, anyway, uh, uh, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all of the things. Uh, KSP2 coming out at the end of this week. It means there's three videos coming out this week. Can you believe that? No, I cannot. Anyway, uh, now we're here with Oranos 2. Uh, you're going to be barely seeing any of this. Uh, I am sorry about this. I actually weighed actually even showing this portion. Um, yeah, it, there was really no reason to show this portion, specifically because it's so dark. But uh, you can see, and I think it's only dark because of a glitch or something like that. I don't know. I don't know why it's so dark. It shouldn't be this dark. But here it is. Um, this is just what happens when you, you know, update it through like four or five versions. I mean, this save is almost three years old. It's, it's, uh, or no, it's almost two and a half years old or something like that. And yeah, it's, it's, it's beginning to die on us. Uh, modded saves were not meant to last this long. Um, yeah. So, basically, uh, we just needed to do this mission to get up enough science so that we can actually finally start, you know, using the hyper-efficient engines that the, the game gives us. And, yeah, that's basically the entire reason why we're doing this. Um, anyway, we are, uh, back at the, uh, KSX... KSS Carthage. It's been in interplanetary space for a while now. It's on its way back home. That's the main thing that we're doing with it here. I'm uh, just ever so often transmitting all of the science data to Carbon because we have a little science lab on board that has been helping us basically create more science or collect more science. And, uh, yeah, this should be able to, you know, uh, help us continue our journey to say, or our journey in the next episode that will allow us to go to every single planet in the Kerbal system. Um, I don't know if we're going to land on every single body, but we are surely going to, uh, interact with every single body. Yeah. So, 
here we are. Um, just kind of switching back to Oranos. Because, uh, well, yeah. Um, I want to kind of just get some more science. Uh, I was thinking about either trying to hit... I forget their names. Uh, I don't remember their names. They're not stock things, but it's Oranos' moons. One of them is a Trojan of the other moon, which I think is really cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to encounter one of the moons, and then I will uh, basically deorbit myself after I get enough science. I thought I would be able to like land, but uh, it, it, it's just not working. Also, I thought that this little kind of the orbit right here looked cool. It's like a little bit of a heart shape because of uh, reasons, which I think is pretty cool. It's just pretty cool about how orbits do things, you know? I don't. I don't know if it's exactly accurate to how orbits work, but I think it's pretty cool how it did that. Um, here we are. We're kind of coming into the rings of uh, Oranos, which are pretty cool. They're very faint, and they're like little lines. And here's the, the moon that we're going to be interacting with is right above us, and uh, we are going to be on a collision course with it for the fun. Uh, yeah, but here I am trying to slow it down. Um, I started trying to slow it down way too... Uh, well, not way too late, because, you know, I didn't get it slow enough for it to be, like, a s actual suicide burn. So it was just... I just tried to log as much data as possible before, you know, it exploded. But here we are. We actually have finally returned the KSS Carthage back to Kerbin. Sadly, these Kerbals cannot quite get to the surface yet. They need to uh, they need to wait a little while before they can, you know, return to the surface. But that does not mean that uh, that they uh, cannot leave this vessel. Um, I did it off camera because. Uh, I, I didn't really need to, but I moved the uh, I moved the tr the landing stage. I was able to maneuver it down to the uh, to the space station, um, the uh, the Taiki station, space station, and it is now docked to that station. And I returned the Kerbals from there. Yeah. So uh, everything's basically good. Uh, we don't really, uh, we don't really need to, uh, be worried. And for fun, I decided, since we are bringing back all the Kerbals for this mission, I decided to use the escape pod that we made, literally, I think, in the last episode. Um, why did I want to use the escape pod? Just because it seemed fun. Yeah. I, I just thought it would be a fun little thing to do um, I realized that it has no reaction wheels so you have to use the uh, you have to use the engines to just move around um, but that's all right because you know it's it's really just a ball that's going towards one location and uh, yeah here it is it's uh, it's skipped through the atmosphere and it's on its way back into the atmosphere uh, and it's really just like a nice simple craft I, I really just enjoyed it I think when I do this in KSP2 I think all my stations will have little escape pods that are pretty simple and just kind of dumb I uh, I just think it's kind of fun to have it like that anyway we are uh, actually rapidly approaching the end of the episode uh, I'm sorry not much happened this episode, I just needed to get it out uh, before the finale and before KSB2. So uh, yeah, here's oh here's a little fun portion. I had to get these guys out before their <laughs> capsule went over the edge and they all died. So uh, yeah, we didn't lose any Kerbals, but we lost the capsule. 
uh yeah that's the end of the episode uh, i'll see you guys uh thursday <laughs>